Let's take a look at a feature called Azure AD Password Protection. And to understand this, we need to know the concept of password spraying. And this is a type of brute force dictionary attack. Uh, and uh, the idea here is that identity systems mitigate traditional brute force attacks by having lockout. And after uh, a lockout would be after a certain amount of attempts, uh, the user is locked out and has to wait a short period of time before they can try their password again. You've seen this like five attempts and, uh, and then you're locked out for like 30 minutes. So password spraying circumvents lockout by spraying the same password across multiple accounts before trying another password while the lockout time cools down or resets. And so Azure AD password protection is a feature of Azure AD to protect your passwords from identity attacks such as password spray attacks. Okay, the uh, the mechanisms here is we have global uh, global banned password list. So this is a password list with known weak passwords that is automatically updated and enforced by Microsoft. You don't have to do anything. You just get that uh, as you use the service. Then you have a custom banned password list. This is where you're gonna provide a custom list of passwords that are more specific to your business security needs. To get uh, banned passwords uh, lists, you need uh, Azure AD one or two. Um, for hybrid security, Azure AD pr uh, password protection can be integrated to on-premise Active Directory environments, okay?